In this video, I will try to show you how I managed to charge my Volkswagen E up using uh, this setup. These are uh, two kilowatt hours batteries. How I made these these batteries, you can see the video here. Uh, they are connected with the inverter. It's pure sine wave inverter. It's 2.5 kilowatts uh, rated consumption and uh, 5 kilowatts peak. I have a meter to see what's the what's the power that is drained for from the battery. This is the original Volkswagen uh, e up charger. This is the model the specification. And what happens if you try to, to turn it to the inver inverter? Uh, let me show you. When I plug the inverter here, the charger to the inverter, let's see what will happen. It is checking to see if we have the needed uh, capacity, polarity, etc. And it's failing. This is the ground failure. So the charger is testing if the inverter have a ground. And what is testing is that the the neutral is connected is the same as the ground here. But in this kind of setup, there is no ground. And this inverter doesn't have a neutral and uh, hotline. They are they they both are both are hotlines. But the difference between the lines are 220 uh, volts. So in order to make this work, I need to connect the one of the, the neutral or, or the hotline to the, the ground. But that may burn some electronics on the car. Let me show you why. This is the 12, vo 12 volt uh, circle of the car. This is the battery. Uh, if I measure plus and minus of the car, you can see on the multimeter 12.6 uh, volts. If I measure the plus and the chassis of the car, you can see the same voltage here. This means that the minus is tied to the chassis of the car. And uh, if I put something on the chassis that is different than this minus, it can damage the car. In order to fix that, I bought a new charger that doesn't have the ground uh, check. It only checks if there's a power, there's connection to the car, and then it starts to, to charge. This is the charger. This is the specification of the charger. I bought it from eBay for, I think, 100 pounds. Uh, so now let's try to put this into the car. First, I will need a power meter like this to see how much the consumption. Okay, then I will plug the charge to the car. Okay, it's indicating that there is. There's a power, what happens? Okay, there's a power. And now I will connect the charger to the car. There's a yellow, okay. You can see that now it's charging. Let's see the inverter. Actually, there's no charge currently. At least the power meter is showing nothing, but this is consuming 100 amps, so it is something wrong with the power meter, I think. Let's try to. Okay, it's something wrong with the power meter.
starting to charge. Okay, it's starting to measure. Okay, it's consuming around one kilowatt. Let's say 9.930 watts. And here it's consuming around 1.2 kilowatts. So there is how much? I like, I like three. 300 watts lost between conversion of the DC to AC. You can see it's consuming 100 amps. I tested these uh, batteries uh, on 100 amp uh, volt. You can see the video here, here. And uh, also you can see that it's not, it's not charging the fully capacity of the car. It's charging around 920 watts watts uh, that I also limited the charging current of the car using the uh, maps and more application you can see how I did it here in the video I hope you enjoyed this video this is the way to charge the car uh, using some batteries and inverter I will try to create a new one uh, that is making some, something like a compact charger with power cells and both like this if you like it give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel see you soon